giver of life. The hawk saw and faithful God. There is no like him. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. Oh, 
to worship and to praise Him today. Lord, we bestow upon us garments of praise. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In today's Jericho praise, Lord, that you prove yourself. Amen. Show yourself strong. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord, we decree and declare that this year we will not see our end. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We will not see the end of this year. Amen. We will write gloriously Amen. into 2015 Amen. with the Lord's strength. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray in our midst today. Let your presence be undeniable. Let your power be no disease. Let testimonies be our portion. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we give him praise. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. If you are not here this morning, put your hands together for Jesus. Together for Jesus. Put your hands for Jesus.
I pray. Father, we thank you for this privilege to be able to give some hope. And so people have given you all bless them in return. Amen. Is there anyone here that is not able to give but provide for such a person? Amen. As this year is ending, we shall head in abundance. Amen. Thank you for your grace. In Jesus' Christ's name we offer. Amen. Amen. May I have your seat. Please, if you want to pay your tithes, you can stand with me. So that we can receive it on that. Titans. Please come with your tag dancing. Everybody testifies you are good. You are good, you are good, you are good. You are good. Everybody testifies you are good. You are good, you are good. children that have paid their tithes into, their, into your hand. Lord, breathe the breath of life upon their tithes. Let it, be, let it become a living tithe in the name of Jesus. You said you are going to send help from sanctuary when you remember the offering. Lord, remember these tithes and let it speak for them in the name of Jesus. In your place of work, this time will speak for your lifting in the name of Jesus. When you do business, you will make profit in the name of Jesus. You will not labor for another man to eat in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap for one year. 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 Cl
very fantastic to you guys. As usual, we'll make you very short and sharp. So we can do that. success all the days of my life. And so shall it be in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please put your hands together again for one who has to go to our seat. For those of you who are wondering, God has done it for God will do it now. And you can do your own too. By His grace, one day you will stand there in the presence of the congregation and give your own testimony. And so shall it be for you in Jesus mighty name. Now I will welcome the media team to run us through the news. And immediately after that, the Grace Assembly Special Choir in Kingston. Thank you, Lord. 
to work all the world. God bless you as you listen in Jesus' mighty name. Details on all programs. 
Savings from our past services. We would like to remind the church that savings of our various services are available for sale outside the church by the exceptors. Please pick a copy and be blessed. You can also book for any past messages you would like to listen to again. We equally have few past messages uploaded for view on our church YouTube page. RCCG Grace Assembly Dubai TV. Thank you. Please be reminded that there are still prayer cards available. Remember to pick a copy from the ushers, fill and drop in the box at the church entrance. Thank you. Please stay updated on all church events and activities by our church website, Twitter and Facebook page. Should you have any questions, comments or feedback, please contact the Grace Assembly Media Team on media at RCCG Grace Assembly Dubai Dohor. Thank you. Gold is not found on the surface. This week, deliberately spend quality time to understand the principles of the kingdom you belong. Study, dig deep, search, and meditate on the word of God. It's not sufficient to know his acts. First, to know his ways, the mysteries of his glory. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for joining us, and see you next week. I am Okiki Bakar. Staff is in the lead, and I'm the Hallelujah. Amen. How are you happy to be in this place this morning? Yes. Are you happy? Yes. Hallelujah. Remain blessed as we minister to you this morning.
Lord, we acknowledge your presence in the house that cannot be denied. From the beginning of this service, Lord, we thank you because of your presence. Father, I say what hands and praise in Jesus' name. Lord, in the assembly of your people this hour, Lord, speak directly from the throne of grace unto us. That we will make this place a blessed person. Lord, we thank you from the month of January, you have been good unto us. Because in the month of January, you are what you are In the month of February, you favor us. In the month of March, you move our life forward. In the month of April, you are one that will bless us. In the month of May, you are our God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you move our life forward in the month of March. And immediately they brought the Ark of Covenant to the battlefield. Something happened. The people shouted. And the enemy had their voice and they were afraid. And they inquired what has happened to these people. They said, the Lord God is in their midst. When you shout a shout of victory and a shout of joy, the enemy will be afraid. Yes, and they will say, indeed, the Lord is with you. Yes, Can I have the same shout this morning? Yes, pleasant to the ears. That's how the people define it in the uh, science world. <laughs> there is a war before the children of Israel, but they need to move to their, to their promised land. But they did something. According to what <laughs> is commanded by God, they shout a shout, and the barrier gave way. I don't know the problem of your life. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know the challenges of your life. But you are going to do something this morning. I don't know that it has stood before you that there is still standing before you and your great truth and your promised land. I don't know that barrier. But you will shout and the barrier will be different. Come and shout and say,
please just help me welcome your neighbor that you are welcome to a new season. A season of joy. A season of happiness. A season of praise. A season of a new song. Amen. When the Lord wants to make a change or he wants to effect a change, he sent his word. This morning, as the Holy Spirit, we, <laughs> we move us. We will move. Amen. Amen. Maybe not the conventional time. Amen. Amen. But this morning you have come to praise God. And can you just tell yourself and say, I will sing a new song. Amen. Amen. Quickly, I just want to say this morning uh, for our youth that participated in the Adebo Youth Club, I will say a big thank you for representing this parish. I keep getting the comment that your people are wonderful. They are very young, but they are strong. Hallelujah. And I will just say this morning, God bless the choir. They will be very blessed in the presence of God. And not only the choir, when I walk into this auditorium this morning, the first thing I say, God will bless these people that they committed the house. Amen. Amen. This is beautiful. Yes, sir. When you make the house of God beautiful, the Lord will beautify your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This morning, quickly, because of our time, I'm going to talk about mysteries of praise. This month, this month we'll be looking at the mystery of His glory. And this morning I want to talk about the mysteries of praise. I will not waste too much of our time. Amen. Because we are going to demonstrate the word of God. The Bible says it is not in the kingdom of God, it is not in word, but in the demonstration. Amen. So we are going to demonstrate what we hear today because we are not just going to be the hearer alone but the doer of God's word. Amen. Amen. So, thanksgiving is appreciating God for what he has done. Maybe God has done something in your life, you are just giving him thanks. Besides, every man from the womb to the tomb, you need to give thanks. Amen. Amen. From the womb to the tomb, your life, is fashion to give God thanks. Even when you after you must have gone, you should continue in heaven to praise God. Thanksgiving is appreciating God for what He has done, and why praise he is celebrating God for who He is and what He is to you. Amen. Amen. You give God thanks for what He has done, but you give God praise. Because you are celebrating God for what, for who God is. And you can celebrate the word of God. When you say you celebrate God, you celebrate the word of God. Because the word of God is, God's, is, is God himself. John chapter 1 verse 1. He said you can celebrate God, you praise God for the infallibility of his word. Psalm 92 verse 1 to 2. You celebrate God's word. Amen. Psalm 56 verse 4 and verse 10. That's when you give thanks unto God. And a lot of people want to give God's praise. But their mouth is short. Because they don't know the mysteries that is behind giving God's praise. Amen. They just... How do why do I need to praise God? Amen. That's the question that people ask. Because they look at the challenges around them. They look at the Jericho wall before them. Some of them look at the prison doors and they say, well, why should I praise God? If praising God is celebrating God for who he is, not what you get from God. I know a lot of people 
want the bread. They don't need the baker. That's why it is only when it is Thanksgiving, God do something for God do something for them. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They come and they laugh and they and they praise God. That is if you are operating in such at such level, you only need the bread, but you don't need the baker. Celebration of the bread is Thanksgiving. Celebration of the baker is praise. The person that can give you the bread is the baker. When you are just full of thanks, only when you get the bread, it will profit you nothing. But you need to celebrate the baker so that you can have the bread. A lot of people don't praise God. Why? Let's turn our Bible to Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. This man says something in that place. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. He said, Although the fig tree will not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vine. The labor of the holy shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no heart in the stars. This is the challenges, this is a challenge before somebody. Number one, the fig tree is not blossoming. There is nothing to celebrate. He said, there is no fruit in the vine. You go to the vine, there is no fruit. So people, they look at your life, it's like your life is not being fruitful. You put your hand in this, you are not, there is no result. And this man said, there is a labor for, you know, the man labor, but there was no success. He said, there is labor and there is no success. <laughs> and he looked again, he said, even in the field, the man labored in the field, there is nothing for him. But the man have an answer. And this is where a lot of us, where a lot of us get stuck in verse 17 of Abba chapter 3, verse 17. All of us, majority, get stuck in verse 17. And they will say, the fig tree is no blossoming. Pastor, please help me. <laughs> so we say, I have labored over the years. There is no result. So we say, it's like the, my life is not fruitful. Even the unbelievers, those people that they don't even know God, they put their hands in a particular thing and they prosper. Why is my own case like this? And when you say, I have labored, eh, because the Bible says there is a labor. They, there's what? The man labor and the man failed. Many of us will labor even in academics and say, oh, I didn't pass that course. That lecturer is very bad. So, a place of work, I have tried many several jobs. I have applied and applied. There is no result. It's like God has forgotten me. Many people get stuck in this verse 17 and they cry, they are mad. God is not good. God, where is your face? I say this often. God has not changed his address. You need to see God and you want to see his face. Very simple. He lives in number one, Prince Avenue. Look at this man in verse 17. He said, guess why all these things are not working? If there is something that the man did in verse 18. With all this, Abba chapter 3 verse 18. Can you go to the next verse? The man said what? I will report. I will do what? Rejoice. Can you just have me tell your neighbor, rejoice. rejoice. Even if the fig tree is not blossoming, what do you do? Rejoice. You labor and it's like you have felt several times. What do you do? You rejoice. Because the Bible says, they that know their God shall be strong and they will do exploit. Doing exploit is what is rejoicing and praising God when everything around you seems not working. That is a man, there is no man that ever praise God and go down. A praiser is always raised. You, there is no way you will praise 
come and you will remain where you are. When you pray to God, God will send an angel to give you an answer. But when you praise God, God will come down by himself to do what? To answer you. Pray to God. Just like David, he prayed to God. God instead sent angel. Go and deliver the answers to the man. And there is another prince of Asha that holds that angel. You are not going to give the man. If the man has been like David, he will pray to he will do what? He will praise God. And God will break all protocol. In praise, you break all protocols. What you have been praying to God. Oh God, answer me. Oh God, answer me. Ah. When you change, when you change your effort from what? From complete effort. Because a lot of people are in complete effort and murmuring effort. When you switch it to what? To a praise effort, something will happen. Because the Lord will come down and begin to rejoice in your midst. And we come and ask you, I say, son, what do you want? My daughter, what do you want? Somebody did somebody sacrificed and God came down and said, Gentleman, Mr. Solo, what do you want? Ah, the man looked up and said, I need wisdom. Because when you sacrifice in praise, and you really sacrifice in praise, God will ask you what you want. And God will even exceed your expectation. When David did, when he sacrificed a sacrifice of praise, ah, God said, I've been looking for a king that I will, that I will establish his throne forever. Because you praise me like this, your throne shall be established forever. I pray for somebody today that today will be your turning point. As you praise God today, our barriers on your way will give way. In the name of Jesus. The Lord said, well, even if all these ones will not, if they are not everything around me is not working, what will I do? I will praise God. And I quickly want to share the benefits of praising God. Psalm 67, verse 5 and 6. Psalm 67, verse 5 and 6. God gave a command. <laughs> Psalm 67, verse 5. Amen. Not verse 1. He said what? Let the what? Let the people and praise thee. In verse 6. Then, then the earth shall yield his increase. And God, even our own God, shall do what? Shall bless us. When you praise God, something will happen. You have been laboring over the year. Look at Abba chapter 3 verse 17. The man has sown. And he has sown something. And there was no fruit. But the Bible says when you do, when you do what? When you praise God, something will happen. The earth will yield its increase. You don't need to put any fertilizer there. <laughs> Amen. You don't need to put any manure there. But the praise of God will cause the earth to yield its increase unto you. When the Bible says God, should, God when you praise God, the increase of the earth will come naturally. Because you have sown in the kingdom. When you praise God, the what will happen, there will be an harvest. You gave your you gave offering, you gave tax. Even you went, you have got extra mad for God. And you say, God, when is going, when is the harvest coming? You don't need to ask God for when the harvest will come. God has given you the word. What do you do? You praise God. I pity the eater types. You know the eater types? Those people that eat their types. <laughs> Amen. They are the eater types. Because when we praise God, and the earth will yield its increase, because the Bible says when you pay your tithe, I'm going to open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. And the blessing will be so much big that there will never be any room 
to be able to do what? To receive it. But when you don't sow anything there in the kingdom, how will the earth yield this increase? Many of us we have sown into the kingdom. As we praise God this morning, the earth will yield this increase of joy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know how many sleepless nights you have had. You cried and said, God, Lord, please, I need this breakthrough. I need this breakthrough. Ah, today, as you praise God Almighty, the Lord will reward your sleepless nights. You have had visions. You have gone to a different kind of vision. It's a time or so you have sown in the middle of the night. Amen. Amen. Midnight sacrifice. But today, the Lord will give you harvest. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know which area that you have sown. But as we praise God today, something significant will happen in your life. Amen. Paul and Silas, they were in the prison. In Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 33. Something happened in the prison. People before them have been killed in the same prison. Amen. Amen. But these people with the barriers, with everything that is there, chains in their hands and on their, in their legs. Instead of complaining to God, they do something. They praise God. And the chain and the feathers were broken. As you praise God this morning, all the chains that is holding your hands and your leg will be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will give you a testimony. Amen. When the people were praising God, and they were magnifying the king of kings. The Bible says the door were open. There will be an open door for you. Amen. All the good doors that has been shut against you, as you praise God this hour, they will be opened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Doors of job, Amen. doors of employment, Amen. Doors of promotion, Amen. doors of lifting, Amen. doors of breakthrough. Amen. It will be open before you today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. But all this will not happen until you praise God. Don't praise God for what is happening around you. But you will do what? You praise God for who He is. Can somebody just rise up this morning and just give God praise? Forget about what is going around you. Forget about yourself. In this time, can you just give the Lord praise this morning? Can you just give the Lord praise this morning? Can you worship God this morning? He said, although the fig tree will not blossom, I will praise you. If the fruit is not in the vine, I will praise you. I've never said that and I've failed. Can you just praise God this morning? Just give them a praise, give them praise. Worship the King of Him.
be to the place. It's worthy of our thanksgiving. It's just but wonderful. Can you just give me praise one more time? Worship Him. You don't need the fig tree without blossom. You will still rejoice. You never have and you fail. You will still rejoice. We see God. When you look into the vine, you can offer fruit. Can you just rejoice?
Jesus name we are worshiping. Righteous Father, we thank you because you are faithful God. You said, let the people praise you, and the people should praise you. Then the earth will give this increase. Lord, as we go into your place, Lord, cause the earth will give this increase unto us. Lord, give us a garment of praise this morning. Give us access into the holies of holies. In the name of Jesus. Ah, oh Lord, I pray. There is no man that ever have an encounter with you that remains the same. As you come down in our place today, let there be divine encounter. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Can you just help me tell your neighbor to your right and to your left? It is time to praise God. Are you ready to praise? Amen. Can you just help me? You know that as a people, they are very dignified. Eh? They are, it is not the time to be dignified. It is time to celebrate God. And that is, that is what praise. When you celebrate God or who He is. Amen. December is your month of death, your wedding anniversary, our first day, God there first. Okay? So now we prepare our offering. Amen. Amen. Your month of death uh, is December and uh, your wedding anniversary of God has done something special in your life. Can you just come? Hallelujah.
I hope that day I'm walking here. It is wedding anniversary, but you are no older than me. <laughs> okay, better. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Righteous Father, we thank you because you are a faithful God. Lord, thank you for your children. Thank you for those people that you have added another year to their year. Lord, I pray, as you have added another year to their year, Lord, please add blessings. Amen. Add favor. Amen. Add breakthrough Amen. to their lives in the name Amen. of Jesus. Lord, I pray for as many that have said, God, thank you for the union. Lord, I pray that their union will be forever. Amen. No woman like Delilah will visit this home. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray no one will die before their time. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, as many that are saying, God, thank you for good things that you have done in our lives. Lord, I pray. The blessings they are celebrating you for will not cease. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I pray for all of them generally. Lord, I pray. You will experience the hand of God upon your life. Amen. Upon your home. Amen. Upon your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be one well with you. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, Lord, let me. Oh, Lord, let me. Oh,
Church, if you would like to pray, you need to be on your feet so that we can pray for this one. You are looking as if you are just dramatizing. These words are praising the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this one year, my daughter and my father. None of them will die before their time. Amen. In these 12 months of the year, is there any enemy who has been pursuing and want to pursue their career? Yes, As it is written in Ezekiel chapter 32, from verse 1 to 5, such people's blood shall be wasted. Amen. Their flesh shall be eaten. Amen. But for this one, shape, they shall prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In everything they do, they will progress. They will not be disappointed for their prayers and to the body of Christ. So we come in the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Daddy. In Jesus' Christ's name we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All of these days, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All of these days, thank you, Lord. Father, any hand that tries to exact on this one's the winner. 
any voice that tries to speak against them will not come out. Amen. Father, they will continue to be a backlash in your mind. Amen. They will be a terror to the devil. Amen. Father, they will excel and be on top and they will never be beneath. Amen. Wherever they turn, people will favor them. Amen. Even before they ask for something, their parents and their peers will turn to them and provide. Amen. Father, thank you for that life. In Jesus, mighty and last name we are praying.
Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your presence at our morning. Father, we thank you. I want you to make a request in this atmosphere of worship. The Lord is here. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is here.
And in the South, why would they do this? They ask we need this increase. No, we want the increase in form of church being broken. As many that the enemy has catched their destiny. Lord, I pray the present God is open to you. Your hands are changed. And it's like you cannot do anything good in life. I speak to that hand at this hour. That chain is broken. Every father on your leg that cannot carry you to your place of destiny, that is tying you to a spot, I speak like the oracle of God today. And I say, let it be broken at this hour.
immediately after the service. And I want to say this. If you are a French-speaking person, I want you to wait after this service to see me. You speak French, I want you to be to the far end of my right hand side. Far end, just wait there. Amen. The last two rows at the far end. I would like to meet with you. Amen. Amen. And uh, quickly before we leave, I I want to quickly call on the first timer. Today is your first time in this place. Can you come and see your number? Today is your first time. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. There is one more announcement, but I'll call my wife. Amen. Concerning the gifting. God bless you, ma. Quickly. Praise the Lord. The initial team has given this announcement. I will just add to it and for the benefits of those that were not around when the announcement was given by the media team. Our Christmas carol comes up 22nd of December. And as we all know, all natural groups are going to have a rendition on that day. The women, the youth, the teenagers. So please, we want all natural groups to get prepared. And please send in your songs to Sister Shade or Sister Omolade, please. Please, let's all prepare for the ministration. Carol service on 22nd of December, 7 p.m. And our gifting service is on 26th of December. Every member is expected to bring at least one gift. At least one gift. And this gift should be between 20 to 50 dirhams. If you can afford more than one gift, please, we will welcome it. But please, we are keep putting a cap between 20 and 50 dirhams on it. And we don't want consumables, please. For the gift, no consumables.
Thank you for your presence in a house that cannot be denied. Your word said, whatsoever you do it is permanent. The blessings that we have received today, let it be lifetime blessings. Amen. Never to be revised by the Amen. enemy. Amen. The encounter we have with you today, O oh Lord, I pray, let it be a lifetime encounter. Amen. The week ahead of us, Lord bless them. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace of fellowship. In the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Surely. Can you just talk to somebody and tell the person at least? Be nice to tell the person and say, You will sing a new song. Amen. Amen. Amen.